I'm a bit confused about the recent assertion that Kendall may have had a lip lift. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill, and on this channel, we talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty, and beauty standards. So if that sounds good to you, then make sure to subscribe. Whenever I talk about celebrities or use their photos as examples, it's strictly my opinion only, and I have no receipts or proof that the celebrity has had any of the procedures we talk about them having. Never use my videos as a way to shame or hate on that celebrity. My goal for this channel is to lift the veil of secrecy that surrounds plastic surgery in the entertainment industry and to show you that usually perfection is made and not born. While many celebrities and public figures start out very attractive, they generally get perfected along the way. Today's video is sponsored by Established Titles. More on them later. In today's video, we will be reviewing any possible plastic or cosmetic changes that Kendall Jenner may have made in the last year and eight months since I've done an analysis of her. Now, in the last month, a lot of people have been sending me Kendall's photo and asking me to redo my analysis of her. We have done two previous videos of Kendall. And so after looking at these photos, I kind of figured that maybe there's been some changes that we need to review. Kendall Jenner starts out with a naturally beautiful face. What I really notice about Kendall's face is the incredible spacing between her facial features. I also really love her long eyes that are very captivating and can appear mysterious. Kendall has a lot of her mother's beauty. And while Kendall is naturally beautiful, she has chosen to have some plastic and cosmetic procedures that we'll go over now. In this video, we'll talk about past plastic and cosmetic procedures that Kendall Jenner may have had done to her face. We'll also talk about past procedures to her body. Then we'll move to the present and we'll talk about any possible changes Kendall may have made to her face in present time. After that, we'll go over any possible changes that Kendall may have made to her body in present day. At the end of the video, we'll total up all of the procedures that Kendall may have had done, and I'll tell you how much it costs to look like Kendall Jenner. Let's get started. One of Kendall's earliest procedures, I believe, was a rhinoplasty, or a nose job, sometime between 2012 and 2013. At this time, the surgeon didn't do much to change Kendall's profile. The bulk of Kendall's nose work was the reduction of the nose's width, with the actual breaking of the nasal bones and bringing them closer together to make a more narrow look to her nose. The narrow look can really be seen in her nose's bridge, as well as a more narrow look to Kendall's tip. This is done by shaving the lateral cartilages and shaving the tip cartilages to further give a more delicate nose appearance. Now it's around 2013 that Kendall's eyebrows have gone from being quite low on her eyes, giving her very little upper eyelid space, to going to a higher look. Now this may have been achieved first with Botox, as Botox can lift the eyebrows. But later I believe there was an actual surgical brow lift done. An endoscopic brow lift is very incognito. It really flies under the radar as there really aren't visible outward scars. Any scars that an endoscopic brow lift requires are done in the hairline where a section of skin is removed and the brow is raised upwards. Then that area is sutured. Unless you actually have hair loss, which is rare, to the hairline, most people won't notice scars in the hairline. Now I do see a change to Kendall's eyes. They go from large and somewhat almond shape to having a much more feline and long look to them. We also see a change to her upper eyelid. We have more upper eyelid reveal. I believe that Kendall had a lateral canthoplasty where a section of skin is cut and removed 
then the eyelid corner is sewn higher to produce a cat or a fox eye effect. And this in turn gave Kendall's already long eyes more of a lengthening effect. And long eyes are a beauty landmark. Today's video is sponsored by Established Titles and you guys definitely need to check this out. So the holiday season is upon us. Do you have someone in your life who just has everything? Who's impossible to buy for? Then make them a lord or a lady. Established Titles has the answer for that gift for that certain someone who is so hard to buy for. Hello, I'm Lady Glory. Wait, officially? Why yes, officially. Just check out my certificate as proof. Based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are called lairds and ladies, Established Titles lets you buy a square foot of land on one of its private Scottish estates in Eddleston, Scotland. You get a custom certificate with the land's individual plot number, and in exchange, Established Titles promises to plant a tree. They work with global charities, One Tree Planted, and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. Everyone wants a fancy title before their name, don't they? So this holiday season, give the gift of a fancy title to someone who deserves it, including yourself. Well, yes, I am a lady. And if you really want to impress the people in your life, put that title on a credit card, plane ticket, or dating profile. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. So be a lord or a lady and plant a tree to preserve the Scottish woodlands and save some cute animals like this pine marten or this red squirrel. And you guys, the first 200 people purchasing a title pack will get a plot of land right next to mine within a few minutes of walking distance. So we could like all, you know, be part of this kingdom. Would I be your queen? Go click that link down below in the description box, check out established titles, and take advantage of their Black Friday sale for an amazing last minute gift. Plus 10% off with code Lori Hill, L-O-R-R-Y-H-I-L-L. -R -R -L. Go to established titles to get your gifts and to support my channel. Thank you so much to established titles for sponsoring this video and a big appreciative thank you to all of you who support my channel. Now I've also spoken about Kendall's cheek prominence and how it's changed in the past. We see here that Kendall starts out with a soft and rounded fleshy cheek. Then we see a change later to a more structured look to Kendall's cheek. Now at the time, I attributed this change to Kendall getting small cheek implants. And I talk about Kendall getting cheek implants as far back as in this video in 2020. Everyone speculates that Kendall Jenner's cheeks are filler, but I disagree and I'll tell you why. I don't believe she's had filler to her cheeks, especially in the modeling world, which she's in. They really prefer those hard angles. They like a harder looking cheek structure. It looks so much better in photos. It's much more photogenic. And if she had had filler, she would have a much softer look to her cheekbones. So in my opinion, I believe Kendall Jenner has had small cheek implants placed. Fillers tend to give a more voluminous look, whereas cheek implants give a harder, more model-esque angle as well as her possibly having a cheek portion to the brow lift where within a brow lift or a cheek lift, the cheek is also raised along with the brow. Now, when I do an update to Kendall's facial changes at the end of the video, we'll also go over any possible changes to Kendall's cheeks. Now, another possible change that Kendall may have had done was buckle fat removal. We see that Kendall's face gains a more V-line shape to it. We also see that there is more of a cheek hollow under the cheek prominence, and that's generally gained through buckle fat reduction or buckle fat removal. She may have had a reduction or complete removal of the buckle fat pad to gain this hollowed out or more hollow look to her cheek. Now, as far as getting lip filler, although there are many photos recently of Kendall's lips being a lot larger, Kendall is no stranger to lip filler. In fact, she was getting it in the past, as you can see in these photos here. Although over the years, the amount of lip filler has generally fluctuated. Now, in the past, we have talked about body changes that Kendall may have had done. I've speculated that Kendall may have had 
some lipo sculpture where they just take a small amount of fat out of certain areas to sculpt the areas into a more enhanced shape like her waist or her thighs or her flanks. Of course, this can also be attributed to weight loss. I've also talked about Kendall possibly getting Sculptra to her butt. And lastly, I've also speculated on Kendall possibly having small glute implants to give her butt a bit more prominence and a bit of a rounder shape, not to actually have a large butt. Now we need to address the change in Kendall's butt. In 2017, Kendall arrived at the Met Gala and caused a stir with her perky butt because she's completely skinny on top. She's completely skinny in her legs. People were really asking her if she'd gotten something done to her butt. I mean, there was major speculation. It wasn't just insinuation. People were actually accusing her of getting butt filler or butt implants. And this time, I think the public was right. I think that Kendall either had a Sculptra butt lift or butt implants or both. Now let's talk about any recent changes that Kendall may have made to her face. Taking a look at these recent 2022 photos, I do see a larger cheek prominence on Kendall, although the shape of the cheek does remain the same. I believe that Kendall may have had her cheek implants swapped out for a slightly larger pair. Now during the swapping of a cheek implant, they would just do an incision in the patient's mouth slip out the silicone cheek implants and put in some larger implants. And generally during this type of procedure, you don't need another lift or anything else done as if you're going larger, you won't end up with any loose tissue from the cheek envelope being manipulated because you are going to a larger implant, very similar to getting larger breast implants. Alternatively, she may have gotten filler or fat on top of the cheek implant, which is something you can do. There's a lot of talk about Kendall's lips and how much larger they look. Of course, tons of speculation about her having augmented them. When we look at Kendall's lip history, we see that there is evidence of lip filler as early as 2014, when Kendall would have been about 19 years old. Here's a good before and after of the lip filler. Then, when we delve into the years between 2015 through 2022, we see lip filler in all of those years. But when I look at Kendall's 2022 lips, I do see what appears to be more filler in them than the last few years. Although 2021 is a close second, in both 2021 and 2022, Kendall has been applying lipstick past her vermilion border. The appearance of Kendall's 2022 lips looks slightly different from 2021. So I will say, if this isn't just more lip filler, then there is a possibility Kendall may have had a V to the Y lip advancement, where the lips volume is increased by making a small incision into the lips mucosa in the shape of a V. Then the mucosa of the lip is lifted to add volume, Finally, the incision is closed into the shape of a Y. Kendall may have had a V to the Y advancement if it wasn't in fact just more lip filler differently placed. Now alternatively, Kendall may have had both a V to the Y lip advancement and filler. I'm a bit confused about the recent assertion that Kendall may have had a lip lift. I don't see any signs of a lip lift. There's also no reason for Kendall to get this procedure because she doesn't have a long philtrum. Another assertion I've heard is that Kendall has had a lot of Botox. She may have had Botox. I'm not seeing crazy evidence of Botox. She's 26. Even if she were to start somewhat early getting Botox, it probably would have been only maybe two years ago. So um, she may have had some Botox. I don't think that she's had a lot of it. And it's probably only to prevent any early signs of aging. Now let's talk about any possible present day changes to Kendall's body. Now in a past video, I had said that I don't see breast augmentation on Kendall, but taking a look now at her photos, I definitely see evidence, in my opinion, of some type of breast augmentation. I do see larger breasts than she's had on her frame. 
and I don't necessarily see weight gain that can be associated with getting a larger chest size. So she may have had small implants put in and they may have surrounded those implants with small amounts of fat transfer to make them look more natural. Alternatively, they may have put in just some fat to augment her chest size. Now let's add up all of Kendall's possible procedures and see how much it costs to look like Kendall Jenner. All prices are based at the high end of the price range. These are celebrity prices. Rhinoplasty, 20,000. Lateral canthoplasty, 20,000. Botox brow lift, 5,000. Endoscopic brow lift, 20,000. Cheek implants, 15,000. Buckle fat removal, 10,000. Liposculpture to multiple areas of her body, 20,000. Sculpture filler, 20,000. Glutes implants, 10,000. Cheek implant exchange, 15,000. V to the Y lip advancement, 10,000. Lip filler for multiple years, 30,000. Botox for two years, 10,000. Breast implants, 20,000. Total cost, $225,000. The modeling world is so competitive. There's always somebody younger and more beautiful coming along to possibly take your job. So I definitely don't blame Kendall for any changes that she may have had done. I also think she's under more pressure because a lot of people consider her a product of nepotism and her not having real talent, which I don't think is true. I think she's worked really hard to get to the point where she is getting a lot of work. If she wasn't a good model, I don't think she would be getting this work regardless of nepotism. I do think nepotism does get you in the door 100%, but I think her popularity on social media and on television, as well as her talent at modeling, has kept her getting these jobs. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please keep the comments kind or neutral. There's really no need to be mean. I really appreciate it. Now, please visit my sponsor, Established Titles. It would mean so much to me. It's their first time on the channel, and the link is down below. I've linked some of my most recent videos up next. If you haven't seen my Gwen Stefani video, I've also linked that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>